All right, Wayne Allyn here with the great Bill O'Reilly. You can always find his wisdom at BillOReilly.com, as well as his great podcast, BillOReilly.com. Bill, how are you? I hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, and uh, we launched our national radio show today, Wayne. Uh, it's called the O'Reilly Update, and it's on in more than 100 cities. It's like the old Paul Harvey newscast. And if you don't have it where you live, you can get it on BillOReilly.com. Fantastic. Look forward to hearing it. Uh, let's talk about the terrible synagogue attack in uh, the San Diego area over this weekend. Obviously, I'm of the Jewish faith, and it was a very serious thing, a very terrible thing. We don't want this happening in America. Uh, but the fact is, the guy left a manifesto. He hates Trump's guts. Yet somehow, some way, the media has twisted this that somehow it's Trump's fault. And it just doesn't make any sense. What's causing all these attacks, and why are they blaming Trump? Well, it's an extension of the uh, American media's obsession to damage Donald Trump. So whatever happens in the country is going to be blamed on him. So they say, well, Donald Trump's anti-Semitic. Now, if you know anything, you know he's been very supportive of Israel, moved the capital from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, uh, is a champion of protecting the Jewish people, who are under threat in Israel. So how could he possibly be anti-Semitic? So at this point, Wayne, you know, I don't think most people take any of this seriously. They just said another hate media, another fake news event. All right, let's talk about impeachment. Can anyone take that seriously? Nancy Pelosi at this point says not yet, but of course she doesn't say no. She doesn't close the door because it's a campaign issue. Let's face it. So is it ever going to end? Well, I don't think there's going to be impeachment. Um, I don't think articles are going to be um, introduced in the House of Representatives. Somebody might write them up, but they're not going to get to the floor. So I think that's over. Uh, now it'll just be try to destroy him and wear him down, destroy him and wear him down. Um, so that's what we have to endure for the next uh, let's see, two years and six months. <laughs> Oh, God, I can't wait. Uh, Joe Biden, you think he's still the front runner now that he's actually announced? And now that this morning he was endorsed by the National Firefighters Union, he obviously is a serious threat to win the Democratic nomination. But will he? I don't know if he's going to win the nomination because I don't know how they're going to attack him in the future. But he's a front runner now. I don't think there's any question about that. None of the other Democratic candidates have gotten any traction at all. The polls are foolish at this point. I don't even report them. Uh, people don't know who Beto is or Mayor Pete or, you know, Kamala Harris. They don't know who these people are. As uh, the debates uh, get underway, and that's a year away. You know, people don't understand. It's, it's like they're in campaign mode, but the, the vote is still way far down the road. So none of this really matters. But everybody knows Biden. He's going to try to run on the let's bring back Barack Obama ticket. I don't know if that's going to be so successful. Uh, the economy under President Obama was bad. And, you know, you saw the economic numbers last week, 3.2 growth in the uh, last quarter of uh, 19, first quarter of 19. Um, as opposed to 1.9 growth in the last quarter of Obama's administration. That's pretty startling. So I'd say, yeah, Biden's ahead, but I don't know what, how they're going to attack him. The left doesn't want him. The far left does not want Biden. You, you know what the problem is, Bill, is as I see it, because I'm in business, I understand how bad the eight years of the economy were under Obama, but the average sure. American doesn't own a business. They just get a safe paycheck. They have no idea how bad it was under Obama. Their boss gave them a check, so they don't know the difference. That's the big problem. I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't think Donald Trump would have been elected had most Americans um, been confident that Hillary Clinton and the Democrats could have stimulated the economy. I, th I think Trump won because of two reasons, that people are fed up with political correctness. Um, that's a.k.a. the swamp and the economy. So I, I think people were uneasy during the Obama years. Uh, they, their wages didn't grow. Now they are. Um, so that's President Trump's big advantage, the economy. All right. White House Correspondents Dinner. Uh, were you there? Uh, did you watch it? What are your thoughts on it? A dud? Or was uh, it some sort of an important event? 
<clears throat> it matters not at all. Um, it used to be fun. Um, you know, I remember when Bush was president, Obama was president. It was good natured. Now it's a hate fest. Why would anybody bother going to that? Uh, one note, it used to be a bunch of big stars uh, going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. None this year, because Trump didn't go. Even if he did, I don't think Hollywood would have gone. I took Donald Trump to one of those. When I was working at Fox, I took him as my guest to the dinner. Um, that's when I, you know, he wasn't in politics at all. He was just a guy I knew. I thought it'd be amusing to see Trump interact, and it was. But now that's obsolete. It's finished. The far left killed it by being vicious, and Americans don't care. All right, last question. Um, I know that you're friends with Judge Napolitano. You know him. I know Judge Napolitano. I have no idea what's going on because I used to think he was a conservative and a principal libertarian. Suddenly he hates Trump. Trump's sending out terrible tweets about him. Trump hates Napolitano. What, what's the real story there? Do you have any idea? <laughs> um, first of all, if you criticize Donald Trump, he's going to come back and nail you. So anybody who does that is going to get hammered. Now, the judge, I think, is an independent thinker. He doesn't like a lot of what Donald Trump does. I think he's been wrong in his assessment a lot, particularly in the Mueller report. I think if you look at Judge right. Napolitano's record, this was wrong down the line. So I like Judge Napolitano a lot. I think he's a good guy. But he was wrong in his analysis. And it's, it's okay if he doesn't like Donald Trump. I don't have any beef there. But if you're going to publicly, not attack, but criticize the president, he's going to come back and slam you. Is that a shock to anyone? That's what he does. All right. Uh, more wisdom for Bill O'Reilly is at BillOReilly.com. And tell people one more time where they can find your new uh, radio show. Uh, it's indicated radio show called The O'Reilly Update. Uh, on more than 100 stations across the country, and that's growing. But if you don't get it or you're working when it's on, it's on the midday. It's a newscast. You can get it on BillOReilly.com. You can punch us up, and there it will be. We'll give you a three-day sample of it. And I appreciate it, Wayne. Thanks for uh, the plug and everything. Very nice of you. All right, Bill. Appreciate you being on my show. Great guy. And we'll see you on Wednesday. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.